is the worst performance of the year for the market, for the Dow especially. And this year, even more, because we have so many uncertainties going on and going to happen in September. Well, sure. September's are usually rough. Right now, we have not only the debt ceiling, but we have to pass a budget. We have to get them both done in September, and Congress only wants to work 12 days in September. So it's going to be a little rough. Hopefully, we can get that, get that done. But we do also have tax reform looking out maybe maybe by the end of the year. Now tax reform is going to be like a coiled spring for this marketplace. We have a sell-off here. Now you get some kind of tax cut. If it's significant enough, it's a 15% corporate tax rate or maybe some repatriated funds, you're going to see this market bounce. And that's why I was talking about 2575 to the upside on the S&P. If you get the bounce off of the level and you do see positive news regarding North Korea, positive news regarding the budget, and this bounce on, on tax cuts, you, you, you're going to see much higher stock prices. Don't even worry about valuations. People say valuations are high. Yeah, okay, so what? You know, interest rates are low, so is inflation. It's not an issue. Price discovery is the issue. Only worry about what is, not what was. People worry about what was too often. But what is your expectation about raising the debt ceiling as well as the budget? I think they're going to get them both done. I think they have to get them both done. I, this administration has had problems, embarrassing problems, both in Congress and at the executive level. Now, if they need, if they're going to have to try to save face here. And being they, most of them, most of the members of the House of Representatives and most of the members of the U.S. Senate are from the same party. There's no excuse not to not to get this done. These seem like, to me, the budget and the debt ceiling seem like the two easiest things to get done. So I do believe that will happen. Okay. And also, I noticed a trend. Do you think the investors are sort of like going on a tendency of uh, um, alter their uh, portfolio from stock stock markets to either the gold or the treasury bonds. There's a couple things going on here. Uh, for gold, 1305 was a key technical level that a lot of guys who invest in gold were looking at. When that level broke to the upside and held on the retest, a lot of guys took their allocations to higher levels, which forced gold higher. That's really key. Now, treasuries are something of a safe haven in times of crisis, which, which North Korea has presented the world with at time of crisis. And gold benefits from that as well. Interestingly though, the dollar, which is weaker, is not benefiting from that. The dollar is not being seen as a safe haven investment anymore, as would be, let's say, the yen or the euro.